guys this is mini pleasures um today i would like to um talk to you guys about um the bags that i have sold in the past um so we are talking about bags that i have you know um that i had been that i had in my collection back then um so we'll go back in time like around 2014 um i actually started collecting bags around 2008 um back then i i had a lot of like coach bags um that's where you know the craziness started and then in 2014 so i will i don't have these bags anymore so i don't have you know um the bag in my possession that i can show you but i will insert you know photos of the bag so first um bag that i have sold um in 2014 was my speedy 30 in the regular and it was in the damn year event so i thought you know when i first bought the bag um there was a 25 and a 30 and i was debating between getting the 25 or the 30 and i thought you know like it was um a good value for my money to get the 30 rather than the 25 but i regretted you know buying not buying the 25 instead however i sold the reason why i sold that bag is because i was limited to only having it you know like um top handle i couldn't wear it cross body or over the shoulder because it's not the bandolier style um and the client advisor at louis vuitton at that time didn't tell me that you know they they were actually already coming out with the bandolier so if i had known that it was the case i should just have you know gone for the bandolier so that was the first bag and then um on our um, anniversary, my husband gifted me the Louis Vuitton um, Never Full in the Damier Azure in the MM size. So I will also insert that picture. I love that bag. I like the, you know, the print, the Damier Azure. However, however, you know, early on, because I was new to Louis Vuitton, I was so scared of the white print and you know on on facebook everyone was you know um mentioning that the the white color is going to turn yellow over time and i was just like oh what the heck you know like i bought this bag this is so expensive and it's gonna turn yellow so i was scared so i went ahead and you know sold that bag um I think I sold it to Fashion File. I I lost, you know, quite a bit of money because Fashion File doesn't really give you, you know, um doesn't really give you like a comparable amount that what you have paid for. Um so yeah, and then I had a Chanel mini flap in lamb skin. Um, that I bought from Facebook Addicted, Chanel Facebook Addicted group. And um, so this bag, when I had it in my possession, it was not in the best condition, you know, like the leather was, there were so many scuffs and I sent it to leather surgeon. And I really regretted, you know, buying that bag because I was like, oh, you know, I paid dearly for that. Um, but back then, you know, it was expensive for me. It was like around $1,700. And so it was expensive. And for the condition of that bag, you know, for me sending it to leather surgeon and I had to pay extra money to get it, you know, um, like new. And when it came back to me, I was wearing it. And then when I wore it, I was, you know, I had one of those jeans fancy jeans that have like rhinestones and it got scratched on the rhinestone so i was so scared so i sold it again to fashion file and then uh, moving on 
I also um, there's this person on Facebook that he advertised himself is as a personal shopper and people were you know um, he advertised you know you know the um, the customers or the clients that have them used him to buy bags for them and um, so I tried to reach out to him and I um, ordered the Chanel mini in the rectangular and this was in the ver verni color um, ver verdi 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 meaning green and I didn't know what the color was it looked like gray to me in the picture so when I got it I was surprised it was green and um, it was very nice because it was caviar and all of that however again on the the Facebook people were talking about you know like the raw edging on the um, um, the strap it was so I was like noticing that mine was showing that the raw, you know, part when they fold it. Um, and then again, I was scared. So I sold it to the Louis Vuitton, you know, um, Facebook, the Chanel, the Chanel group. I sold it there. Um, I actually, you know, made money for selling that bag. But... I really regretted selling that bag. I wish I still have that in my collection because now I can see why people are so, so um, into, you know, the minis. And now the minis are selling for like $4,000, even $5,000. It's crazy to me. And then... Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons. And then also I was thinking about, um, you know, that the classic. People are talking that the minis are not classic. So that also influenced my mind. So I got the medium. So after I sold those two um, mini bags, I, you know, bought a Chanel caviar in the medium size on ebay through um gfa um he is a reseller in japan so i got the medium from him and it was a vintage one and it was no hold on no 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 i didn't get this from gfa i actually it was the lambskin that i got from gfa no i bought this um on facebook addicted um the facebook addicted guru and it was only selling for like $3,500 at that time. But, you know, back then the price of $3,500 is a lot to me. But anyway, I got that bag. And so I, I was loving wearing it. But then um, later on, I decided to sell the bag because I needed the money for, you know, like a special trip that I have to go to. So I sold that bag. I really regret it for selling that bag. I wish I just, I just have, you know, kept it in my possession. But anyway, I have the Chanel um, lambskin now in a small size that I have gotten from a reseller in Japan. And I just love the size also. And then this one is in immaculate condition. So I am not selling this bag. I'm keeping this bag in my collection. But if I could get, you know, the um, the munis again, I will. All right. So moving on. This is not, by the way, in part in a particular order. I had a Burberry um, check tote bag, um, and which I have gotten from Saks Fifth. They they were having, I think they were having like end of the end of the season, you know, sale. So that bag was selling for like 600 plus and um, so I bought it and then um, back then I didn't really know my preference in bags so I eventually sold it to my co-worker that is also a bag crazy and um, so I sold it to her um, so it was good um, and then um, 
I forgot, I also had a Louis Vuitton Montorgueil um, in the GM size. So I called customer service um, and I wanted to order the PM size, but they didn't have the PM size. And the, and the sales associate that I talked to over the phone told me, um, just go ahead and try the GM. You know, it's not, it's not much of a size difference. So you know, cra um, you know, crazy me, and I was, you know, like, really wanting to have the bag, so I, I went ahead and bought it, so when I got it, I was not very happy, because it was a big size, I should have returned it, but I did not, um, and so I sold it later to a friend, and now my friend has that bag and she likes it, you know. Um, I really took good care of it. So it was like brand new. And then I got the Louis Vuitton, the Montergill, um PM on Facebook group. So I now have the PM. But then, you know, over the years, <laughs> your liking of bags, you know, would change so it did change with mine too so i i got rid of that bag i sold it on the louis vuitton addicted you know facebook group and i got my money back for that one and then um now i have the uh, pochette um, accessories in the damier azure which i have gotten from the louis vuitton facebook group um i have mentioned it to you to you here guys that i have gotten this bag um, and it, I got I got it for a very good price now um, because of the white you know like zipper on here it's not brown it was white um, I know it will get dirty you know um, over the years as I wear that bag so and also what irritates me was you know that tag that was like hanging on the other end of the zipper that tag um, bothers me so i went ahead and sold it to the louis vuitton addicted um facebook um yeah so i got rid of that and then um in 2017 i had i bought the louis vuitton pochette matisse and this was you know they this was that time where louis vuitton had issues of glazing and i can see the glazing on my pochette matisse was already anyway i got here okay so i get here a sample because this is my now this one is in perfect condition but right over here the glazing was peeling off so i went to louis vuitton um because it's still within the one year mark and they reglazed it for me this is not the one um they reglazed it for me so after i have gotten it back from them when they reglazed it i went ahead and sold it on the the facebook addicted group so i sold that bag um so i regretted selling it and then i you know bought bought it again back um bought it again um two years later 2019 the price has already gone up a little bit but not as crazy as it is now um but in between these times like i was you know um i was hoping to fill in the void for the um pochette mitis. i i contacted the personal shopper in uk and i told him that there is this coach cassie that i looked on the website the coach cassie was in caramel brown and it was available only in europe so i asked him to buy it for me over there so he did and so i had to pay him you know his fees and his shipping the shipping fee which was not that much so when i got that bag um I like the caramel color however you know in my mind i was still thinking about the um, pochette matisse and i i really wanted the pochette matisse so um i didn't want to have two bags that are you know the same style so 
I finally, you know, I eventually sold that bag on eBay. And then um, another bag that I have bought talking about eBay is the Fendi Mini Peekaboo in navy. One night I had a hard time sleeping and um, I was browsing through eBay and I was looking on eBay on, you know, like vintage, you know, Fendi, the minis. And then I found this one that was only selling for $800. So I grabbed the opportunity and bought it. And when I got the bag, um, the navy blue didn't really speak to me. I tried wearing it. You know, I tried to love that bag. And um, I tried to put my stuff in it. <coughs> and then the strap was too long. And it was, you know, thin strap. So even if it's lambskin or yeah, not lambskin, they call it Napa, <coughs> excuse me, Napa leather. Even if it was soft, it would still dig in into my, my shoulder. And I didn't like the compartment of the Fendi, though that bag was very, very cute. I really like it, but there was just something into it that, you know, I didn't that didn't you know speak to me at that time but maybe when it comes in a different color i would probably consider that bag or in the cellier i think i like it in the cellier celeria celeria you know where they you can see the stitches and it's not in the um the napa leather it's in like a like a green kind of leather so it's more durable maybe i will consider that bag in that um you know in in, in that kind of leather the celeria um so now we'll go to tory birch so i had the tory birch fleming in the small size in red um the reason i sold this bag is because the length of the strap was very long for me and the red was not really like a true red it was an orange red so i sold it on tory birch addicted facebook group and then later on i got the gray one in the small size and the gray didn't really also speak to me i tried wearing it i tried loving the gray i eventually give it to my niece and then i had also the tory birch um the soft Fleming flap in the caramel brown which I showed here in my channel I love that bag but then um, later on while, when I was using it I can see the wear and tear already on you know like the the edges of the bag especially on the bottom part of the bag because it was soft and um, looking at the wear and tear you know um, I didn't want it to get worse, so I sold that bag on Mercari. I also had the Gucci Hobo Tote bag um, in the in the monogram print. I will insert a picture. I couldn't find the uh, monogram print, so I will insert a picture of what it looks like. Um, I sold it to a friend because i didn't like the hobo style i found that i didn't like the hobo style and then i had a gucci vintage um bucket bag i sold that bag um i actually gave it to my daughter but then my daughter didn't like wearing it because of the opening which it doesn't have a secure you know like um like you can it 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 has like a tie around it um but you can't really like tighten the tie um it's still open so i had ordered a bag insert on etsy with a flap to keep it you know close but um my daughter was not using it and it was just sitting so i took it back from her and then um looking at my collection i wanted to you know like downsize my collection so i sold that bag on facebook gucci addicted group and then now this one bag i said 
I will never sell this bag, but I changed my mind. So never say never. I sold the Louis Vuitton favorite MM monogram to Fashion File. Um, I have found that the magnet was not as strong as when I first have gotten the bag and it flipped once on me accidentally and all my all the things inside the bag just went to the floor and I was like I'm, I have to get rid of this bag and anyway I have a lot of monogram bags so it was hard for me to let go of that bag but I let go of that bag and I I used that money to buy the um the the Louis the Louve um small no no the Louve mini puzzle bag and then okay moving on I have the YSL toy Lulu in black um I I think I I have gotten it from Farfetch. Um, I sold it to Fashion File because I didn't love the black and so I after I sold it to Fashion File I bought the light the dove the light lighter one dove gray in color instead and then I had one Burberry crossbody check bag that I have gotten from um, what is this from Saks Fifth and it, um, this is one of those bags that they also um, they were also for sale so I had a good discount of the bag and at that time when I had it like long time ago it has cuffs you know on the the edges and I didn't like the wear and tear so I sold this bag on eBay and then last bag is the Gucci Marmont mini flap in the red I sold I got, have gotten that bag from Fashion File and I sold it back to Fashion File. Um, I don't know why. Oh, I think it was the chain. I think it was the chain strap that didn't really speak to me. And I found that it was, you know, a little bit noisy, especially when you go, tr -tr, you know, but it was a cute bag. And um, yeah, it was, it was just the chain. So... Yeah, those are the bags, guys, that I have sold over the years. Um, so I was really, really surprised, like, how many bags I have sold over the years. They were over 22. There were over 20 bags, 22 to be exact. I might have forgotten, you know, some of the bags, but I know I sold a lot of coach bags before on eBay and some of my coach bags i have given them to you know um my family so this is all for now um i was looking at the subscribers that i have now thank you so much um for subscribing to my channel especially the new ones and for those of you that have subscribed to my channel and kept coming back thank you so much for supporting my channel i really appreciate it um so yeah um give this video a thumbs up um give it a like and you know for those of you that is watching this video and haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified when i upload you know my next video this is all for now bye thanks